What's up everybody, it's Jasmine and welcome back to another lunchtime reaction video. Woohoo! I've already eaten lunch. I ate a bowl of peas and some chips with the taco sauce medium. Uh, so yeah, I'm all filled up and ready to keep on working. But before I go back to work, I thought I would do another reaction video. This time to Amberlynn Reed because it's been a while. And yeah, she's doing 100 Days of Weighing In. I haven't watched the other ones, so I'm a little bit interested to see what she's been up to. But yeah, let's get on into it. Hey guys, so welcome to a new weigh-in video. So I'm currently cooking right now. So if you hear food sizzling, sizzling, that's why. Because <laughs> I'm cooking my first meal and I'm going to be filming a eat with me video so Woo! I'm super excited for that but also nervous because I know how people are we're judgmental I get it. and I'm gonna like hopefully if I remember just explain a bit more in my eat with me video kind of where I'm coming from so hi it sounds like she's gonna be doing more muk mukbang videos is that what she's saying um I just want to put my way in right here yeah. Alright you guys, weird angle, mm. but it's May 10th, which means it's day 5. So that means I'm up 0.2 from yesterday, which I am totally fine with because I only got six hours of sleep, a little less than six hours. I fell asleep about 1 a.m. and I woke up at 6.30 a.m. So as you can tell, my sleeping so much better. I'm not sleeping half of the day away, but by getting such little sleep and also waking up a bit swollen again and weighing myself a good like four or five hours before I usually would, Okay, so it's definitely, it sounds like she's making a lot of excuses and I think that that's one of the problems with weighing yourself every day is that you have to come up with a reason for why you weigh more or less than the day before when in reality it's, it's you shouldn't be weighing yourself every day because it just, it puts your mind in a position where you have to think about like what's the difference between today and yesterday and then like what's happening here is Anne Boleyn Reed is making excuses for why she's bigger, why she weighs more uh, this day than the day before. When if you weigh yourself once a week or once a month, then there is no excuse. You know, you've had a week to make have an overall loss. So if you haven't done that, then you need to uh, recognize that you've done something wrong. But when you're weighing yourself every day, you can get away with saying like, oh, you know, I'm just bloated, I haven't slept enough, you know, and th those things can be totally true. So I just think that weighing yourself every day just makes you really good at coming up with excuses. Being up 0.2 for me is a victory, so I'm totally fine with that. Like, doing these 100 days of weighing... Um, since I started on April 1st, my lowest was 553.4. So I am about 10.2 pounds heavier than that from all the binging I did um, a week ago. So now I'm trying to lose the weight I already lost and get down to a new low weight. And I didn't really talk about like what goals I have for this 100 days. I really wanted to lose 60 pounds in these 100 days, but how it's going now, I don't see that happening. But as long as I reach about like 520, that'd be cool. But like ultimate goal is 504. Okay, you guys, so I got my... So this is another example of what I was just talking about. So she's given herself 100 days to lose weight. And instead of uh, trying her best for 100 days and then seeing how well she did at the end, she's weighing herself every day. So now she already knows that she's not, not going to make her goal. So what what is there to motivate her? You know, like she already knows that that big goal that she was looking forward to reaching she's not going to reach it and so that must be super disheartening and it's only five to seven days into the weight loss and she already knows that she's not going to make her goal like that 
sucks. Do you know what I mean? Like, how is that going to motivate you? My Ipsy bag. So What's I'm Ipsy? For y'all. <laughs> okay. Girlfriend there. This just always comes with out. a bag, obviously, because Ipsy bag. Actually, this was last <laughs> month. I still have it right here. A bunch of lemons. This month. It's glittery. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I love this. And for some reason, this didn't come in the bag, but it is a brush by the brand Farah. Yay. I definitely need more brushes. So what came in this bag is a state. It's an eye shade. Okay. And a cute peach package. I think that's a peach. I mean, who knows? I don't really like peaches, so. Ooh. That is pretty. Okay, I really can't wait to. Okay, so <laughs> one thing that I think is really funny about watching Amblin read is that she's such a symbol of consumerism. Like, she eats too much, she's addicted to food, so she buys too much food, she eats too much food, and then also she's got the shopping addiction, she buys too much stuff. And because she's so morbidly obese, her life expectancy is a lot lower than the rest of us. So not only is she consuming a lot of things, she's also buying a lot of things that she's never going to be able to enjoy in her life because her life is going to end significantly sooner than the rest of us. I mean, she could die next year. And so she's such a, a symbol of where it goes wrong. And the thing that I think is really sad about Amberlynn is that you know, she she has all of this stuff, right? And she eats a lot. She's addicted to food, right? And she does this, I think, because there's a big thing missing in her life. And she's filled that with food and buying things, which includes buying food. Um, and as things get worse, you know, as, as things get bigger, as she gets bigger and she can do less things and her life seems less hopeful, that's only going to become more intense, you know, it's only going to intensify her need to buy things and her need to eat and her need to, uh, you know, try and fill that sort of loss inside of her because, you know, I think that her life is really, it's about a lack of stuff, you know, she, di she didn't get what she needed when she was younger, and so she's filling that up, and, you know, when you're young, and you don't have hope, because your family isn't, you know, they're not there for you, then you need, it's, <laughs> you have to come up with it, with your own hope, like, your own reason to continue going on, and, um, Anne Boleyn has done that, except that her reason for going on is to wake up, to eat more stuff, to, you know, buy more journals because she loves journals and things like that. And that's not really, like, that's not a life, really. And that, that type of thing, that addiction to food and addiction, I mean, the shopping won't kill her, but the addiction to food, it will kill her. So, and as she gets bigger and bigger and it becomes, life becomes more hopeless, she loses that sense of hope. I think it's just going to uh, cause an, an intensification of the consuming process, whether that's consuming food or consuming products. Um, yeah, so it's just a, a vicious cycle, I think. And so that's why, I mean, that's basically why everybody's telling her that she needs to get help because she's got serious problems. You know, she's had an awful life growing up. She has serious problems that she needs to talk to somebody about. And that's just how it is, you know. Um, I've been to therapists, I've been to doctors, because I recognize that there are just things that are really difficult to get through just by yourself, you know, or with friends, you know. Like, <laughs> your friends aren't qualified to uh, give you a life purpose, right? But uh, a therapist, they can help you find that life purpose and they can help you rewire your brain and sort of uh, build the life that you uh, would imagine you would want to have if you were, you know, functioning normally. So yeah, 
Amberlynn, go get help. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope the sound quality was okay. But anyway, we'll check that all later. Um, yeah, get this video a thumbs up if you liked it. There's lots of people that give my videos a thumbs down. So I guess you could be one of those people if you wanted. And I will see you all next time. Hey, door.